What's going on with y'all, man? What's going on with y'all boys, man? Hope y'all doing good. You know? Hope y'all doing all right. We back with another reaction, man. It's your boy Nemo. And the nigga just woke up a lot. I woke up about 30 minutes ago. This is my fourth reaction so far, man. I've just been going down the playlist, just reacting. But, you know, if you haven't already, man, I made a homemade ball. First off, wait a minute. We are a smoke-friendly channel, smoke advocates, we everything. I am the first reaction channel smoking paper. You know that. They know that, and I know that. Don't let them lie to y'all. All right? So, hopefully you ain't smoking no 99-cent death, uh, death certificates. You know, you roll you a frontal leaf, a gravel leaf, or a wood. Preferably a paper. You can't go wrong with some paper. Just straight off the trees, man. God put that here for me and you. It's like it go hand in hand. God put trees and weed here. You roll weed up in a paper that's from a tree. It's a blessing to be smoking joints. I'm telling you. So look, man. I'm on a lot of weed, though. Speaking of it. So this is all I got. I've been smoking a homemade bong. That's my roach. You feel me? That's my little roach I've been tapping on, too. There you go. You know, that's the one for the joint. This hole right here is for my woods, as you can see, because it's a little bigger. And then this one, I had it, you know, when I had a Dutch, you know. But, yeah, I made, I be making homemade bonds for my, ro my roaches, bro, because sometimes I don't be wanting to keep my roaches. Or sometimes, like, you know, I let all the roaches stack and then roll all my roaches into a, a, a nice joint, one last joint. But lately, boy, I've been facing the shit out of this damn uh, homemade ball because that shit been hitting. Totally different than smoking, bro. It's been hit. But here we go. Let's see. Brazen, day, if I'm saying that right, Brazen. Brazen daytime shooting by teens injures one cops. Huh? Have you heard about this education stimulus program? This could... Don't listen. I ain't heard of it and don't want to hear of it. Actually, we're going to skip this shit. The way y'all niggas printing money and got inflation going up and about to have a dollar collapse and shit and y'all ready to switch this over to virtual currency at any moment? Why the fuck am I worried about a stimulus, bro? It's only a matter of, bro, you can Google it. A dollar ain't even worth a dollar no more. Look at the dollar bill. A dollar is not worth a dollar. When you go to the store and you buy a Dutch for a dollar forty, you're actually cheating him, giving him a dollar forty. You're cheating him. You're at, you actually didn't pay enough. That's crazy. That shit say a dollar forty. You gave that nigga a dollar and fifty cent. You still didn't pay enough. You owe him probably about an extra dollar technically. I'm telling you, bro, this shit so fucked up now. But here we go. What's up with the music, G? Oh damn, off rip. Hey, they be getting it cracking off rip. What did he do? Wait a minute. What did we miss? Hold up. They came out the store. He came out last. He came out last. Yes, sir. He parking lot pimping. If you got a man's in the store, ain't no way in the world you need to be sitting. You It ain't no way in the world you need to be a sitting duck sitting in the car. If you got one of your mans in the store and you not in there with him, you need to be outside the car. Parking lot pimping. Exactly what that is. If you don't know what parking lot pimping is, literally park somewhere in a parking spot and hold that spot. You and whoever you with, your homies, your homies and some chicks that will, however, whoever, that's parking lot pimping. Y'all hold that spot down right there because you got people inside the club that got to come out. Maybe you don't, like for me, when I be going out with the homies and shit, I don't like club. Like, it be dead ass like pulling teeth to get me out the house. I don't like clubbing because, bro, all the shit that go on, and unfortunately, bro, my people do majority of the club, and my people do majority of the ignorant shit when it comes to this club. So I try to stay away from it. I don't put myself in situations, you know. But the times where I do give in and go, that be me. I'm not going in the club, bro. I would that ass take an eighth with me and roll up the entire time. Did it last time. The homies went to two different strip clubs and then walked the strip. What was I at? In the fucking parking lot, sitting on the charger. Smoking away with my shit on me, making sure I'm straight and making sure they straight when they come back because these niggas ain't finna be sober. Somebody gotta be responsible here. <laughs> they not finna be sober. And niggas love tweaking when they get alcohol in them. Motherfuckers just be tweaking for no reason. <laughs> the fuck you looking at? And you ain't looking nowhere near in their direction. I right, this bitch up. You like, see, this is why I don't be the house, bro. I don't miss that shit. I don't miss it. I'm old, bro. I'm 24 years old. I am old. Don't miss that shit. He got, man, he pulled that bitch out of his pants. I knew I wasn't tripping. 
He pulled that bitch out his drawers. Police in North oh, Carolina. Oh, he got hit. He got hit. Damn. He fell quick. That Bina man fell quick. are still quick. looking for a juvenile suspect in what they call a brazen daytime shooting in What's a parking doing? lot. It happened on April... Oh, I thought he got hit. He was pulling the stick out his drawers. I thought he got hit. He was pulling the stick out his drawers. Wow. Hey, shout out. You see, out of all the videos I watched, guys too. Out of all the videos I watched, man, give it up for the lady, man. Round of applause for the round of applause for the lady, man. Round of applause for her. At the end of the day, this is a man business, shorty. They ain't blinking at you. Them niggas shooting at them and they shooting back. They not shooting at you. They ain't got no problem with you. They not trying to attend. Didn't know your ass was in the car. They seen them niggas get out and seen them go in the store and seen them come out. They didn't even know you was in there. So with that being said, knowing you gave it away when you got out the car, shout out to her for at least hopping her ass in the driver's seat knowing we got to get the fuck on down. They shouldn't have to tell you, get in the driver's seat. Hey, drive, drive. Like, bro, they shouldn't have to tell you that. At the end of the day, you ain't got no pole. You ain't the muscle. You ain't none of that. This don't involve you. Nobody should have told you to hop your ass in the driver's seat and have that car ready for when these niggas done. Regardless if you was involved or not, you involved now, you with them. The cops are gonna interrogate you. So, you might as well make sure you get y'all all the safety. At least, at the least. Get y'all all the safety. Shout out to her, bro. That is not her first rodeo. Them niggas did not have to tell her to get in the car, start the car. They didn't have to do nothing. As soon as the motherfuckers got the busting, she hopped right out, switched her shit over, turned the hazards on, started the car, bro. She had all that shit ready. So, man, she had that shit ready. April 30th in East Look, Charlotte. opening the door for him. Hey, hop in. It's ready. Hop in. She ready. That she, nigga, she in reverse, letting them know it's time to go. And they laying down cover fire until she got the car ready. Regardless if they doing the shooting, and it don't look like, to me, this shit look like self-defense. But all three of them are latching on to that one car. What did they say or who's in that car that they know to where he came out the store clutch? That man, the dude in the black, watch, he came out the store clutching. He's already drawing his gun, and she's looking back. Bro, they know them. That is not no, oh, some shit was said, words was exchanged in the parking lot, shots rang out. No, that was some, oh, damn, that is that, hell yeah, that's, no, nah, I don't think, hell yeah, that's them. And they getting it on now. That's them. Hey, we see them. That's them, bro. We know what it is. That's what this look like. This don't look like some crime of opportunity and they thought they were some stains and turned out these niggas was packing and shot some niggas trying to rob them. Man, that looked like some niggas that crossed paths that ain't had no business crossing paths. Haters say as two teens exited a convenience look, 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 store, look, look, look. they I knew I wasn't tweaking. He pulled that bitch out of his drawers. We gots to now. Gots to. Gots to. Damn, this bitch little. This the last hit, too. Gotta make it good. Man, I fuck with these homemade bombs so much. I love these homemade bombs, but gee. Mm, damn, dog. But look, he pulled that bitch out of his drawers, and so did he. And I know it's possible, bro. I do it all the time. I carry my 30 in my drawers. I carry my shit, bro. I don't have a holster. It's way easier and way faster to keep that bitch in my in my in my kangaroo pouch in my hoodie. Or keep that bitch in my groin, right in between my thighs, like on my groin. Or keep that motherfucker, bro, the gun don't move. It don't fall, slip, move, and it's not gonna go off like you think or like motherfuckers tell you. We not, this is not Cheddar Bob from 8 Mile. That bitch only gonna blow if you shoot it. Or if you did some dumb shit and you went and put an alternate trigger on and now your manufacturer five pound trigger is not on there and you got a hairline fracture trigger where all you gotta do is this. Shake it real fast, and the trigger move, the gun gonna go off. No, that's how you get accidental discharges. Niggas can't even drop their guns from this distance. They go like this. They can't even drop that motherfucker this much from the ground. 
because they got that weak ass trigger on there. Man, if you don't get you a trigger that you need to pull that bitch for it to go off, if you mean to pull it, it ain't gonna be no problem for you to pull it. Cause you mean to pull it. And with your adrenaline, that's that shit gonna feel like it's a hairline trigger. Nigga, let somebody be running you down and you need to get your pipe in the fight. You gonna boom, you gonna pull that bitch like it ain't shit. Hired on a vehicle with an assault. That shit don't happen like you think it do, bro. Guns don't just go off. Rifle and a handgun striking a person in the car. A detective with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police analyzed surveillance video of the incident. I guarantee you, them motherfuckers flew over the car, behind the car, in front of the car, under the car. I guarantee you, bro, he probably ain't hit that nigga but more than two, three times. Do you see how that gun is shaking him? Yeah, he ain't got a stock on it. He cheating. He put a buffer tube on it. But nigga, the buffer tube can still sit in your rotator cuff a little bit. And the little kangaroo pouch of your shoulder. Gee, he ain't got good form with the pipe. And then that motherfucker shaking like a stripper while he's shooting it. He ain't controlling it. With the Charlotte Mecklenburg police analyzed surveillance video of the incident. The victim vehicle, the back window. Yeah, see, hey, nah, nah, that's some slick shit, bro. That gotta be self-defense. That nigga parked in the back and pulled up at an angle. That's fishy. I told y'all, go everywhere on yellow. Go everywhere on caution. Don't go nowhere thinking you safe in this world on a fucking green light. You should never, even in your home, you shouldn't be on a, you shouldn't be on a green light. Now you see, the fucking air just kicked on. That shit, bro, you should never be on a green light. You're not safe in your home. What makes you think you're safe outdoors? Bro, be on every car, every road. I don't know if, if you ever been in the hood, but if you got some hood friends and you never been, go to the hood with your friends and watch their mannerisms. Every car, every bike, every person, every bus, every dart, whatever that rolls by. You got to, because the minute you... Oh, that ain't nobody. That's somebody. Dog, you got to. And, my, and it's sad that my people got to live like this, bro. But nobody else will never understand that struggle of having to be on point. You say that to somebody and niggas don't even, and white, like other motherfuckers, whites, Asians, Indians, whatever. Well, I mean, that's it. That is Asian. That is Asian. But you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, any other race, they understand on point, but they don't understand the actual definition. They just hear it in music, hear us use it, and know that probably means, you know, watch your back. They don't understand. That watch your back is different from being on point. You can watch your back and still be slipping. You can watch your back and not be on point. It was down. There wasn't any gun. These niggas was these niggas was watching their back and they was on point. Shown, but then you see the suspect pull out an assault rifle and begin to lay rounds down towards the victim vehicle, ultimately striking the victim uh, two times in the buttocks. What I say? I can't make this shit up, y'all. My reactions is live, and y'all know that. I told y'all, bro, with his form, man, dude, dude, nigga, even when I was an athlete and when I got hurt, I always wanted to grow my own weed and make my own guns. Ask anybody in my family, they'd tell you, bro, I wanted to be a gunsmith. I always wanted to know how to make my own guns. I always wanted to have my own brand of gun, like Glock, Taurus, Smith & Wesson. I, I always had dreams of making my own gun, having that bitch in stores, and my weed. With that being said, gee, you can't tell, you ain't got to tell no receiver how to run a drag route that's in the NFL. That nigga for sure knows how to run a drag route. If what I'm saying is, Nigga, I, bro, it's common sense. 89% 80, of communication is nonverbal. My nigga got a buffer tube on that bitch for mobility so he can be quicker with it, move quicker, and up it quicker. But he ain't got the buffer tube in his arm. So he really ain't controlling shit. It's like he's shooting that with no stock still, basically. And then he holding it from the magazine. Like, it's not like he's gripping the barrel. He's holding it from the magazine. So it's like at any point in time, that motherfucker could have, it could have jammed up on him if he ended up gripping it the wrong way, if he ended up pulling the mag down his recoil control. Like, bro, you ain't got to, that don't take rocket science to see that he ain't hit no more than two, three shots. Look at it while he's shooting. Authorities say the injuries were non-life-threatening. They also say the teen who used the machine gun has been taken Look. into custody. 
but they are still looking for the taller teen who used the handgun. Police say they are concerned about the brazen nature of the shooting because a nearby... That nigga, that's the only thing, though, about them 30s and them sticks. No motherfuckers be kicking. And I don't mean kicking as a recoil. I'm talking about kicking. When you walk, the stick, boop, kick you. When it's time to pull that bitch, bro, you got to dig for it. Because, nigga, you got to pull the stick, then the grip, and then the gun. Like, bro, them, that, the, bro, them sticks be kicking. It, it take, them motherfuckers take up so much room. That's why I, I don't even understand the point of carrying unless it's cold. When it's cold, oh, hell yeah. Nigga, I keep a hoodie on all year round. When it's cold, I just throw a coat on around my hoodies. Yeah, I carry my 30 real quick. Throw that bitch in the hoodie or in my coat thing, it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere in my joggers, but time to pull it, it's easier to pull that out your jacket than it is to take it. Look what he had to do. He had to get down. Imagine if they was active on foot running up on them. You think he would have had time to get his 30 in the fight? His man would have been having to hold it down for both of them. It's pros and cons with that shit, boy, carrying them sticks like that. It's possible, but it's pros and cons with it. You got to make sure you motherfucking James Bond, okay? But that's it for the video, man. Y'all make sure y'all be safe and watch our back, bro. I told you, man, it's getting bad, dude. Crime is everywhere. We living in them times, bro. We living in, I don't, I don't give a fuck with nobody say, bro. And you ain't got to believe it. You'll see it one day, bro. You're living in your end times. Shit is bad. It ain't getting bad like this for no reason, man. Watch yourselves. Watch your back. Cover yourself. Protect your loved ones. Stay prayed up and meditate, man, and stay sane. That's the only way you're going to move thoroughly about this uh, in this world, man. It's, you need God, bro. Pray, Stay prayed up and then meditate, bro. You got to meditate on what you just prayed on. That way, that shit is in your mind, bro, because that devil be creeping. You ever been sitting down, sleep? Or just sitting there playing a game out of nowhere. Damn, boy, I need some motherfucking top. Like, damn, I want to be some cheeks. Bro, that's not you. That's not you. You were literally just perfectly fine sitting there. That's not you, bro. Like, you have to filter your thoughts. You are what you eat. And what you eat goes far beyond what you put in, put in your mouth. You got food for thought. You know, what you let people tell you. Food for, you know, what you hear, what you see. And then, of course, what you touch and what you eat. Watch all of that. Don't shake no nigga hand you don't know. Don't listen to a motherfucker that you don't trust. Ain't no need to look in a nigga direction that you don't know. Like, all that, bro, stay to yourself and stay prayed up, bro. Protect yourself. Protect your energy, dog. Because everybody is out for something. You are living in desperate times. Watch y'all back, man.